before we get into this video, y'all, I need your help with letting me know what we should name her. Um, I'm getting like the name Francis, Francine or something. Um, I'm thinking about like, you know, the, the nanny. I think there was like in the 90s, the sitcom, The Nanny. And I'm thinking just like Fran or something. Let me know, but um. Hey girl. Oh my beautiful Aquarius, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today we're going to be doing your weekly you versus them reading. Uh, I also do your weekly general reading for your zodiac sign Aquarius, which I'll leave a link to over here for you to check out at a later point if you'd like. But when it comes to any of my readings, be sure to rely on your intuition Aquarius because you know your situation better than I ever possibly could. So take the cards that resonate and leave what doesn't because I promise you I'm not going to be offended by it Aquarius. If you find some cards that resonate with you, be sure to let me know in the comments below. Let me know which card resonates with you and how it resonates with you because that's how to keep up with y'all through the comments. And if you find this reading helpful, Aquarius, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out my channel a lot and I always am super appreciative when you guys take the time to do that for me. And then finally, Aquarius, um, interesting uh a few cards i'm going to be taking note of uh i want to just say i'm not here to make a decision in your life uh it's your life to live not mine i'm just here to give you something for you give you some food for thought for something for you to think about as you go throughout your week aquarius so with all that being said let's finally get into your reading because cards are flying out i'm looking at the cards that are out and i'm like well, what is going on here honey so the uh, cards that came flying out for you, which I'm going to kind of just take as like the overall energy kind of explaining why I'm seeing some of these cards, even before we get into the clarifiers Aquarius, which by the way, I already pulled a card for you, pulled a card for them Aquarius, and I pulled a card for the energy between y'all two. Um, so these are separate from that. Um, but the cards that fir first card that flew out was the moon card. So then I was just like, oh, honey, like this could be like good or bad, right? Uh, where it's just like, oh, something's kind of catching you off guard. Something's kind of revealed to you. This kind of happened um, for a couple of other signs, actually, for this coming week. Um, but, and then it's just like, okay, like, it doesn't have to be necessarily bad. It doesn't have to be ominous, right, Aquarius? Uh, but then we have the Hanged Man and the Five of Pentacles. So someone feels left out in the cold. And I kind of get this feeling that it's you, Aquarius. You kind of feel abandoned in some sense um, of where it's just like, I don't know if it's from this person. Well, I do kind of feel like it's from this person. I feel like... <laughs> <laughs> sounds so dramatic um but aquarius i am getting like the word like betrayed uh something's coming up in that sense um it just is an energy of where you kind of like are in this place of where it's like something humbled almost um not saying that you needed to be humbled at all aquarius but it's just like you kind of realize like you thought it's like you thought this person thought of you better than they actually did and it's like through something that they did that kind of like humbled you where it's just like oh <laughs> right uh let's look at your card side though we have the seven of air which is the seven of swords basically uh this is a card that needs plans that need revising so this is kind of like that energy uh where it's just like let's say that um you really had your heart set with this person and being like, okay, like you're gonna finally, you're finally making the decision to open up to this person, just being like, oh uh, yeah, um, it's like us against the world sort of thing. Like maybe some of you guys recently like moved in or want to do like some big plans together, some big projects together. And you just like, you had really big plans with them. I really think that's like the key part here. And then Seven of Wands comes in where it's just like, you actually realize just like, you're kind of in this by yourself. You're in this situation where it's just like, like in the middle, you're thinking that you're ride or die. And then something actually happens and then you're just like, oh, you're not actually my ride or die. You actually are the opposite, right? Maybe you're like planning on moving in with this person. And once you moved in, you realize they're just a completely different person, right? Uh, Ten of Air is on their side. So Ten of Swords is on their side. Um, this is an energy of where <sighs> Aquarius, this is like an energy of someone that they mean well, but they just have a lot of repressed stuff. They have a lot of stuff that they need to work on, which I mean, granted, put it in perspective, Aquarius, who doesn't have a bunch of issues that, uh, they need to work on, right? We all have issues. You have issues. I have issues, honey. We all have issues that we need to work on. Um, 
So I guess all you can really take from that is like, it doesn't seem like, obviously we'll know with some clarifiers, well maybe we'll know with some clarifiers Aquarius, but it doesn't seem like they necessarily mean harm or like have bad intentions, right? Energy between y'all two is the five of fire, which, or I'm just now seeing this, or the five of wands, Aquarius. So this is that card of conflict. So yeah, that's, it's a very, um, this, I'm not gonna lie, Aquarius, this reading is really starting out rough. It's starting out in a sense of where it's just like a soap opera. It's just like, I feel like I'm like, tapping into some energies and it's like I got into the middle of like a reality TV show fight um, of what's going on. But let's see on your side. I'm going to start pulling some clarifiers Aquarius on your side of things with this seven of air. See what's up with you. Um, yeah, let's see. The sun card, ten of cups, the hanged man follows you. So this confirming what I was thinking before, where it just seems as if like something occurred with that moon moment that we pulled that made you feel left out in the cold, that gave you a completely change of perspective that really not only gave you a change of perspective, but um, forced you into a different position that you really didn't want to be in. Uh, back of the deck energy, eight of wands. So this is a place of where it's just like grabbing up at opportunities, but also letting go of other things. Um, but let's look at these clarifiers a little bit more de in detail, Aquarius. So with the Sun card and this Ten of Cups, this is like, your well, this is more than just your intention. This is what you want. But to be quite honest, who doesn't want this, right? The Sun card is the best card in the deck, Aquarius. It's like that ultimate happiness. Uh, the Ten of Cups is like having that really happy, fulfilling hap uh, home life. Not home, well, I guess technically, yeah, home life, but um, your connections are fulfilling. You have trustworthy connections. That's the key part of that. Trustworthy, loving connections that actually express love to you. Some of the people that you can actually rely on, right? Um, and it's like, I feel like it's through like this hanged man moment that's like, you had a change of plans. It's like, you thought you had this with somebody, you thought you had this with this person, dare I say Aquarius, and it's just like, <sighs> joke. I don't want to say jokes on you, but it's just like, it just took you by surprise. Maybe you even feel like Boo Boo the Fool a little bit. You feel like a fool for even trusting them, which I don't want you to feel like you, you shouldn't feel like the fool, like a fool at all. But uh, I, I don't think I vocalized it while I was rambling Aquarius, but I was pulling a card for how you see this connection. And I pulled the death card. Back of the deck energy is four of wands. Like, yeah, it, see, it feels like you do want to just put an end to this uh, Aquarius. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it really does feel like you something's coming to an end. Something's coming to a closure when it comes to this person. Judgment card comes in as the energy when I was splitting the deck. Uh, yeah, Aquarius heavy heavy energy but it's like when you have that death card though i see this as a cycle completing and keep in mind with the sun card coming in for you like that's that's still like a good card to have it's like the sun coming in after like a chaotic storm so you may like even though you're going through a lot of transitions right now probably or wanting to transition from this situation probably aquarius it's still gonna pan out pretty good for you i see things that working out for you pretty well uh let's look on their side now with this ten of air or this ten of swords uh aquarius see what's up with them five of swords six is wands in the world card back of the deck hierophant Hmm. How are we going to take this, Aquarius? We're going to take this in a way of, uh, and I kind of feel like, I, I can't help but feel like this Five of Swords, um, was an energy that was following them before as well. I would be taking this, Aquarius, as somebody that really wants to work this out but they also want it's like they want their cake but t but eat it too they want to have their cake but eat it too 
but they know that they can't have this forever. It's like something that's temporary. It's like they want to have like, how would I put this? It's like they want to, they want the best of both worlds without having to really let go of anything or without really having to make a choice on any one thing, right? With this Hierophant, it's like, I don't know. I kind of see this as a person of like, um, maybe like, not scared of commitment, but they don't want to necessarily commit. They don't want to necessarily, um, like maybe like the idea of like settling down in some capacity just intimidates them. Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I feel like this is the thing. It feels like they are not wanting to chase after change in their life. Aquarius, I'm going to be honest. It feels like a person that's kind of like set in their ways a little bit. Um, and kind of at peace with it too, with that Hierophant card, it feels like this person's kind of just set in their ways and at peace with that, not really interested in shifting their um, perspective and they're kind of just okay with being in the same loop that they put themselves in. Um, because they see from their perspective what's going on with them being like, that's what they want. So it'd be like a situation of where it's just like, maybe you're wanting more uh, commitment, but to them, they're completely happy having something that's just like, whatever, right? But then we have this five of fire, this five of wands, this energy between y'all two, talking about some conflict, right? So this is interesting. It's interesting because it's like, let's just go with the narrative of where it's just like, you're wanting something more serious, Um Aquarius, but they actually don't. They're just like, uh, it's like you guys are just on two different pages. You guys want two different things because I'm not really seeing any like negative at like anything malevolent, anything negative. I just see two people like functioning off of like two different chapters on two different pages wanting two different things, you know? And that's where the conflict comes in. It's like that yin and yang, yin, not yin and yang energy, um, but just like opposite like i just feel like it's where it's like opposites are where you guys are just opposite or clashing maybe one side's more logical than the other side is more creative right um and i kind of feel like you are like the more creative like um whimsical is a really weird random word that came to mind um more whimsical person aquarius was this person maybe a little bit more um grounded or like not that <laughs> <laughs> it's not the word I want to use. It's not, I want to say not that bright, but it's not that. Um, just more uh, set in their ways, almost, I guess. They don't really want to consider anything else. But clarifiers for this Five of Wands. We have the Knight of Wands coming in. Hot and cold energy. The Lovers with this, with the Two of Cups. Then the Page of Pentacles. So while there is like this sense of where it's like you want to move on, uh, Aquarius, they are kind of stuck in their ways. When it comes to you two, even if there's conflict, even if there's friction, there's still like love here. There's still like this hoping for the best for one another. Page of Pentacles lets me know where it's just like there's some type of like it almost just feels like you guys just need to talk it out. This is an energy of like you guys just need to talk it out and maybe like through talking it out, that doesn't necessarily mean like for some of you guys, right? That it's gonna like, y'all are gonna be able to continue in the future with one another. But it's just like, if you guys just talked it out a little bit of your perspectives, it's almost as if you guys would understand and realize being like, oh, we don't need to have this conflict. The conflict is just coming in because we're trying to make opposites work. We're like on, like we're just wanting two different things out of life and we're trying to just make it work because of that. Whereas if you just communicated it with this page of pentacles with your person, like, cause it's like showing to me like a, like a health, I don't want to say healthy connection, but, um, like y'all care about, y'all see each other as people, right? Y'all care about each other on some level. Um, just communicate, man, communicate with one another. Be on the same page. Aquarius, if I'm not mistaken, this is kind of similar to one of your past readings as well, where it's just like, you were kind of in your feelings and in your thoughts about something, but so was your person. Kind of about like in the same thing. And, but neither of you guys were communicating it. And if you guys just communicated it, y'all would realize like how similar you guys actually are and like what's been going on, your anxieties and all that. But um, 
Yeah, Aquarius, I guess that's the reading that I have for you. Um, let me know which card resonates with you. If there were any cards that resonate with you, if you did enjoy this reading, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, Aqu Aquarius. Um, and then also be sure to share my videos with a friend if you think they might be into my messages. But until next time, Aquarius, I love you so much. Bye.